हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैडी स्टडी सेंटर और टुडे सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश भाल भारती क्लास फाइव लेसन नंबर फाइव द ट्वेल्व मंथ्स ये लेसन हम आज पूरी तरह एक्सप्लेन मैं पूरा लेसन एक्सप्लेन करने वाला हूँ स्टूडेंट्स साथ ही साथ रिक्वेस्ट करूँगा कि जिन्होंने अब तक मेरा चैनल जो है सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है वो तिल से जल्द सब्सक्राइब कर लिया और बेल बटन दबाना ना भूलिए जिससे मेरे आने वाले लेसन की वीडियो का अपडेशन आपको मिलते रहे नोटिफिकेशन मिलते रहे कि आपने ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब किया है तो लाइक और शेयर ज़रूर कीजिएगा तो हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारा लेसन वंस अपॉन ए टाइम इन ए फार अवे कंट्री द लीव अ मदर हु हैड टू डॉटर्स वन वॉज हर ओन चाइल्ड द अदर वॉज अ स्टेप डॉटर she was very fond to her own daughter but she hated her step daughter the only reason was that marukula the step daughter was prettier than her own daughter holina the gentle hearted marukula did not know how beautiful she was and so he could never make out why her mother was always so cross with her marukula had to do all the housework tidying up the cottage cooking washing spinning weaving swinging she liked work and she did it all without a word of complaint while holina spent the time adoring herself and lazy about even then holina and her mother scolded and treated and abused morakala every day they evaded her so much that one day they decided to throw her out in the freezing cold to get rid of her Go, Morakala. Get me some wallet from the forest. I want to wear them and to smell them," said Holina. "But, my dear sister, it is impossible to find wallet in the snow," said the poor Morakala. "How dare you argue when I tell?" you to do something off you go at once and if you did not bring me a wallet from the forest i'll kill you said holina threatly dying the step mother caught hold of morakala turned her out of the door and slammed it to her after Morakala went to the forest in wiping brightly the snow lay deep and there wasn't a human footprint to be seen Morakala wanted about wait uh, wondered about for a long time at last she saw a light in the distance she went towards the glow which came from the top of the mountain a big fire was burning there around the fire a tower stones with 12 men sitting on them three of them had white snow white beard three were not so old and three were still younger the three youngest were the handsomest of them all they were not speaking but all sitting silent these tower men were the 12 months then morakala was frightened she stood still for a time in a terror but growing bolder she went up to them and said please kind sir let me warm my hands at your fire great january and night and ask her why you have come here my dear little girl what are you looking for 
I'm looking for Violet, answered Norekala. This is not time for looking for Violet, for everything is covered with snow, answered by Great January. Yes, I know. My sister Holina and my stepmother said that I must bring them some wallet from the forest. If I didn't bring them, they'll kill me. Tell me, father, please tell me where I can find them. Then the march took the high seat upon the stool and waved a club. Club students means it's a stick. Over the fire, the fire blazed up, the snow began to melt, the tree began to burn, and the ground was covered with the grass and springtime. Uh, here you can see, uh, see the purple color, violet color flowers is growing on. The Morekla picked them joyfully. Still she had two big bunch in the tank and thanked the month with all her heart and screamed to manly home. Holina and stepmother wondered when they was saw Morekla bringing the wallets. They opened the door to her and sent a wallet filled all the cottage. Where did you get them? asked Holina skillfully. They are growing under the bushes in the forest on the high mountain, Holina said. Holina snatched all the flowers and did not give even a single one to the, her sister. Next day she called to her sister and said, Go Morekala, get me some strawberries from the forest. Alas, sister. Where did where could I find any strawberries in this hard winter? said Morekala. The stepmother caught hold Morekala and pushed her out of the door and shut it after her. Morekala went to the forest wiping brightly. The snow was laying deep and there was even a human footprint. At last she saw the light she had seen the another day. Joy overjoyed, she went towards it. She came to the great fire and the twelve men sitting around it. Please, kind sir, let me warm my hands at the fire. Great January asked her why you came again and what you are looking for. I am looking for strawberries. My sister Holina and my mother and uh, ordered me to bring some strawberry. If I didn't, they will kill me. Tell me, father, tell me, please, where can I find them? The June took the high seat up on the stone and swung the club over the fire. The fire shoot up and its heat melt the snow in the moment. The ground all green was all green. The trees were covered with the leaves. The birds began to sing. The forest filled with the kind with all kinds of flower. It was summer. The ground under the bushes covered with the spittle. The starry blossoms were turned into the strawberries every minute. They repaint at once, and before the Morekala had time to think, there were so many of them. It looked through the red carpet, then spread it on the ground. Pick up, pick them at once, Morekala commanded June. Morekala picked them joyfully. She still had filled a prawn full, then she thanked the months that hearted scrimped manly home. Holina and stepdaughter wondered when they saw Morekla bringing the strawberries for apron full of them. Where did you pick them? asked Holina. Squeakly. 
There are plenty of them growing in the forest on the high mountain. Polina took all the strawberries and ate them all up with her mother. They did not leave even a single up for Morekala. On the third day, Holina ordered Morekala to go in the forest and get me some red apple. The stepmother caught hold of Morekala and without giving her a chance to speak, pushed her out of the door and shut it after her. Morekala went to the forest again, wiping brightly, but she did not wonder. But this time, she ran straight to the top of the mountain where the big fire was burning and the twelve months were sitting around the fire. Please, kind sir, help me. I am looking for a red apple. If I didn't, did not bring them, my sister and my mother will kill me. Tell me, father, tell me, please, where could I find them? Month, month September took the high seat upon the stone and swing the club over the fire. The fire began to burn with red flame. The snow began to melt, but there was a cold wind sit on the folded leaf down on the ground. It was a dominant Miracle saw just one apple tree with red apple hanging high among its branches. Morakla obeyed the ones. She picked up the apples, thanked the moons with all her heart, and ran merrily home. Holina and her stepmother wondered when they saw Morakla bringing the two apples. Where did you get them? asked Holina. I found them in the forest on the high mountain. And why didn't you bring more? Or did you eat them on the way of home? said Holina harshly. Mother give me my fur coat. Let go to the forest over self and get the apples. I regret little rich would eat them all upon again on her way home. We'll find the place all right and I'll shake them all down. However, they shut at me, shouted me. Her mother agreed readily. They wrapped themselves in the fur coat and swelled for a half of the went to the forest. They step upon the fire and stretch out their hands to warm them, without asking permission or speaking on the polite words. Why you came here and what you looking for? asked the great January crossly. Why don't you want? Why do you want to know, you old fool? replied Holina angrily. It's not, it's none of your business, said her mother. The great January fronted and swung the club over his head. The sky grew in the dark moment and the fire burned low. The snow began to fall thick and the icy wind began to blow. Through the forest, Holina and her mother couldn't see a one step in front of them. They tried to find a way, but the snow fell a huge mess on the soon. They had lost it. At the home, Morakla waited and waited. At Holina, her mother did not come back. When she went to search for uh, search them, she found neither her mother, sister, nor the two elements in the forest. At last. She returned home sadly. So good Morakal inherited the cottage and the land around it. She married a kind husband and then both lived happily ever after.
students hope that you have like uh, love this story hope you all understand all the story if you already like uh, like this story don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed if you like press but a like button and share button if you want to give any comments you can give it to us